Uh, I'm gonna try and run away from them. And uh, uh, I've been thinking that uh, there is a there is a chance that I actually might uh, might actually continue jumping on the next game, on the next Ease games instead of actually going back to it. I played uh, well, two games in the series. I'm gonna upload one of them, and the other one. Uh, uh, I still haven't started playing. Yeah, yeah, oh shit. These against these idiots. And, uh, yeah, because I'm really interested. Uh, I heard a lot of good things about uh, uh, Ease uh, 8, by the way. Because what the hell? It's new enemy. Alright, that's good. Can I paralyze him? Oh, he deals a lot of damage. Alright. Might as well boost our defense in this section. As long as someone focusing on him. I think I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna do fine. Oh, uh, he got me. Oh. Did we stunned him? Did we stunned uh, him? Push kick! Oh, I don't have uh, enough points for Flecky. All right, and uh, we killed him. Nice. And we learned a, a new skill, I guess. Leave it to me. Understood. For uh, for Ozma. Although Ozma is about to die, though. <laughs> uh, Craig bursts. It deals a lot, though. Forty. Oh. Well, I'm gonna make sure that I actually have a lot of HP before we do anything. Uh, and yeah! That serious viewers, uh, I don't know if I wanna talk about it. Actually, it should be, it should be, uh, uploading right now. At the moment of me recording this game, that, uh, the other RPG that I'm talking about, I'm actually, uh, uh, in the process of ac actually uploading this uh, to the channel. I think we've reached the, uh, the eighth or seventh uh, episode of that series, which is gonna take a, a long time for me to finish it, and uh, I am playing. I I am. I still haven't played the second game of that series, uh, you know. And uh, I thought that I might actually, you know, go, uh, jump on the E series in some. Uh, so one of these games that I actually really want to uh, want to keep up with the series since uh, uh, they've recently released. Uh, one, not recently, recently they uh, they released the late their latest entry is uh, nine some time some time ago, and uh, I thought I might uh, you know just keep up with the series until I'm actually ready to jump on the newest one, which. Uh, should be uh, soon enough. Oh, there's there, there's no exit after this area. This is the limit here. Okay, interesting. No exits. Uh, anyway. So uh, uh, yeah, I'm thinking. Uh, should I actually jump on the uh, that series? Oh, well, the series that I'm uploading right now is Xenosaga viewers. <laughs> I'm uploading Xenosaga, and after I finish this one, uh, my plan is actually, after I finish this one, I might actually jump on, uh, on, uh, on Xenosaga 2, to actually, uh, you know, go through it, and then, uh, after that, immediately jump on, uh, you know, Xenosaga 3, but, uh, I actually thought, uh, of, uh, uh the, my idea is actually, Actually, going uh, 
you know, jumping on... Uh, jumping on is 8 before I actually... Uh, before I actually jump on Xenosaga 2. I, I heal up if I uh, if I come across this area. All right, that's cool. That's cool. So I don't know. I don't know, viewers. Uh, I still haven't decided yet. But there's a like uh, since I'm actually hearing a lot of good things about Ease Eight, uh, I thought I might as well. Uh, just go ahead and uh, you know. Just conclude uh, the E series. Well, not uh, conclude because the E series hasn't ended. But uh, I'm aiming that I uh, might aim for a long time that once I actually finish with E's uh, eight, I'm gonna chill for a little bit until uh, Leave it to me. Leave it to me. until I make sure, like uh, until I give the. Uh... Oh, I need to to use the. Music. I actually killed him. Uh, yeah, my aim is to actually just, uh, you know, jump on his uh, 8 and then uh, uh, wait for a little bit just to, to make sure that the, uh, yeah, at least his uh, uh, people iron out the, uh, iron out the his, uh, whatever his 9 uh, bugs, uh, that's, uh, the, uh, like, I think, or I assume that, uh, the PC version of Ease 9 is a little bit buggy. I really haven't follow, uh, followed that much, uh, followed, uh, you know, the, the, if, if the game was buggy or not, but, uh, if it's actually gonna be, uh, similar to the, uh, to the other Ease games, then, uh, yeah, there is a chance that it might actually be buggy, because I heard that Ease 8, uh, definitely was, uh, 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 had its uh, fair share of problems when it uh, got released. Oh shit. So I thought I might as well, uh, like, whenever whenever I jump on is uh, is uh, 8 and finish it, I'm gonna chill uh, for a little bit and, you know. Immediately died. Wow. So I thought uh, once I finish each eight, I'm gonna I'm just gonna you know just, uh, wait until people actually finish uh, uh, you know honing uh, and patching uh, each nine. So uh, whenever I come back to it, uh, uh, it's gonna be. Uh, you know, it's gonna be, uh... It's gonna be bug-free, for the most part. When I uh, actually start playing it. So, I still, I still, but, uh, I still, uh... Like, uh... Don't know which direction I would go with the... With the playthroughs, but, uh... Since I've heard a lot of good things about Ease 8, I might actually jump on it immediately. Especially since uh, I'm really looking into uh, playing something new. Because uh, if I go back and play uh, Xenosaga 2, Xenosaga 2 is a game that I already played. Uh, for those who don't know, so this is something that I actually uh, talked about in the Xenosaga 1 about it. Uh, I played both Xenosaga 1 and 2, and I haven't played. Three yet, and my main purpose of actually playing uh, these games, I actually also played Xenogears in preparation for that, but uh, uh, I haven't uploaded uh, my Xenogears playthrough, and probably won't. <laughs> Maybe I'll do another playthrough and upload that in the f in the future. Who knows? Who knows? But uh, yeah, my main goal is actually to to, uh, to prepare myself for the. Uh, for the, uh, you know, to play the game, to have uh, some sort of a refresh on uh, what's gonna happen in Xenosaga 3. Because Xenosaga 3, if I start playing Xenosaga, Xenosaga 3, it's gonna be a blind playthrough, a new experience for me. And, 
I thought might as well just uh, get over the uh, ease games before I, I jump on that one. I don't know. So I don't know. I still haven't um, haven't decided yet. So I might actually get into a decision after I finish this game, which uh, I'm gonna assume this one is gonna take me a while, especially since I'm gonna blabber all day about about. Uh, Something that uh, has nothing to do with with this current with the uh, current event. What's happening right now? So shut up, have a nice day, and uh, <laughs> read what's in front of you. Uh, this is the place. So this is the Sacred Beast Slayer, huh? Why are you looking surprised? We've been here before. Though it'd be, uh, though it'd be uh, more like a nest, being a beast's lair and all. Didn't expect uh, full-on ruins. You came here. Uh, you come here often, Ozma. I try to avoid coming here as much as possible, particularly at this. Uh, particularly as this is the uh, the place where I lost my mother and father. Uh oh, I cannot say uh, I have very fond memories of it. Really? All of the Sparta raised uh, in Silray were captured uh, here when they were infants. My parents were killed by the poison of the adult Sparta while attempting to trap its young. But I cannot let uh, the people of Silray know that. Oh shit. Why do you bear this burden alone? Because I am the last of my tribe. The laws essentially forbid me from telling the people of my village the truth about these creatures. Ah, the laws, the laws, the laws. How could I reveal, uh, how could I reveal to them uh, that uh, two on our ranks, a tribe that cares uh, for beasts, were killed by those very beasts? Do you really need to go that far to keep, uh, to keep it all a secret though? Hmm. I mean, some games, viewers, there are some games that, uh, like, try to criticize uh, how religion works in uh, an indirect way, really. Like, uh, hey, religion tell you to do this and that and this and that, but uh, there, uh, it doesn't give a good reason to why. I see a lot of people, uh, uh, you know, uh, how do I say it? Uh, I see a lot of people uh, uh, take that as an idea of, uh, of actually, of a way to, to, to criticize, you know, the way, uh, the way how, uh, how religion usually works, and... I don't know about that. I don't know if uh, the, the the big problem is, uh, at least for in you know in in my opinion, that people assume that uh, all religions uh, works the same. Like uh, especially when we're talking about the holy religions, like when we're talking like the 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 big three holy religions, none unlike the uh, like like Buddhism and. Uh, and the other, you know, spiritual religions, uh, they definitely uh, uh, are. Uh, they do share a lot of stuff, but they're uh, they're different in some way. Uh, I'm gonna be. I gotta be honest with you, viewers. I am not that uh, well infor informed about the about Judaism, though. I wish I uh, have an opportunity to actually learn more about it, uh, but uh, never had the opportunity, really. Nah, didn't have the opportunity, really. Maybe one day, maybe. I get that uh, the Spartas are essential to everyday life in Silray, but surely it'd be uh, better if everybody worked together to care for them, right? It's all about these rules that... These restrictions... 
that uh, without them, you could lead a better life. Assumingly, though. Uh, so. But this is general talk, really. This is general talk. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna hurt keeping the, this all to yourself. Do you really think you can keep it up? The laws of my tribes are absolute. There is nothing I can do about them. Ah. <sighs> It's like talking to a brick wall. You're the brick wall, uh, Doran. Not me, you! Alright, let's go ahead and get inside the, uh, the ruins. Stop uh, trying to talk in a philosophical way, have a nice day. You have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> you're a let's player. Keep it at that. This area appears to have filled with water. Look, there's a staircase on the other side. Indeed. But the water seems to have uh, eroded the path, uh, putting it just out of our reach. Adol, we should investigate the area and see if we can find another way to reach the staircase. You don't know how to go there? Probably have some sort of an idea how to go there, right? Understood. Please let's have a way for us to actually walk on water or something. To make it bearable to actually fight on water. Hopefully. I think he's gonna have the uh, ability to dive. That looks like the wall under the water has uh, seen better days. This ruin is several hundred years old, so such a thing is to be expected. But I imagine with the uh, fissures that size, the wall should be uh, brittle enough to break uh, with my spear. Break the wall uh, so the water flows out? Sounds like an idea. Try not to bring the whole place down on our heads and uh, we're golden. <laughs> There's no need to con uh, for concern. My touch is a delicate one. Damn. Delicate touch. Ozma with the, with the unique delicate touch. Spear thrust. Ozma attacks uh, with his spear to destroy brittle walls and rocks underwater. Alright, that's his ability. It's gonna be easy to detect. Alright, that's that. <laughs> that's your delicate touch? Oh, that uh, somehow worked for us. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and continue. Upstairs. Whoa. No, all right. I dig the uh, soundtrack. Sacred Beast Slayer. Wouldn't have guessed this place uh, was so big from the outside. Likewise, truth to be told, uh, truth be told, I have uh, yet to explore it in its uh, entirety myself. Really? Guess we'll just have to do uh, the honors now then. Do be cautious. There are many dangers lurking in, this, in these de in these depths. Ooh, is that gold? No, these are leaves. These are leaves. Yeah, this is a. Uh, we've heard this song before. Which, uh, it's not a. It's not a problem. These guys are gonna. gonna dodge all the time, so. I mean, it's, uh... Oh shit. Oh, these clams. Uh, these clam monsters. I'm gonna have to use. Uh, the Dorn. I guess I have a treasure chest over there containing 10 iron ores. Oh, 
nice, uh, nice dodge there, buddy. Yeah, I like the soundtracks. I like this soundtrack in particular. Yay! What the hell? That's a big fish. Oh, there is a uh, red treasure chest down there. I'm gonna assume that we're gonna have the ability to dive. In the future, so we cannot do anything here. Yeah, let's try and uh, get the hell out of here. Oh, there's a lot of chests just down here. So yeah, we won't be able to do anything here, so might as well just backtrack for now and go up. There's a path over here. Also, there is a path that leads uh, uh, slightly southwest. Well, let me try and check this area first. Nothing special here. Huh? I cannot dodge uh, well. We're actually gonna tumble in. Okay, down. Where's the, uh. plan? Clam. That, that clam poison. Poison? God damn. Leave it to me! Uh, okay. I guess uh, that's a job for Ozma here. Using his delicate touch to open uh, a new path. Uh, is this a good idea? I don't know. Maybe this is actually a different path. No, it's not a different path. It's actually the same... Uh, this is where, uh, where we came from, I think. Yeah. This is where, where we came from. My turn. Leave it to me! Oh, there's a lot of treasure chests over here. It's me! Well, there's a lot of treasure chests over here. It starts with the uh, with the important one over here. Obtained slate fragment. Uh, so we're probably gonna be more of these that we need to find to cross the final door before the boss fight. Just like uh, the previous dungeon. Now this treasure ch chest uh, contains five hundo, a honey potion. Topaz, Rhoda Droplet, and a Silver Ingot. Alright. 
Okay, uh, is going down here gonna be, gonna be good for me? Maybe I can actually access uh, the other staircase from here. Yeah, over here. I want to come back. I want to come back. Let me check this area first. All these slow moves. Actually, do that. Oh, go ahead, go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and do that right now. I'm gonna backtrack eventually. Just to check out the other thing. <laughs> Delicate touch, huh? You're destroying the whole ruin! Delicate touch, my ass. What the hell is this? Where the hell is that? Is this uh, from the first uh, path that we went to, uh, we went into? Oh, well, there is an another treasure chest uh, we can uh, we can pick <laughs> using Dorn's ability. That contains silver axe. Who's gonna use this weapon? Is it gonna be, uh, Ozma? No. Uh... Definitely none of these guys. Uh, who the hell? Is it gonna be an artifact? Silver Axe increases drop rate of rare items. Amulet shaped like an axe increases rare item drops. So this is, this is something that I uh, that I need to equip, or or is it gonna be a passive? It's gonna be a passive item. No, I actually have to equip it. Uh, yeah, might as well. Uh, do that right now. Uh, can I continue here? No. Oh, without diving or the ability to dive. Yeah, let's continue from here. I think I actually have to backtrack because uh, this area is closed. Yeah, it's close for me, so I might as well backtrack. Uh, 
Can I go from here? No. Maybe I should continue. Uh... Clockwise. Or do I actually need to go uh, up? Uh, up the stairs, all the way up, upstairs, and then uh, to the north? To the uh, south. Uh, sorry, southwest? Maybe. Yeah, I'm going south. I think we're gonna have to. Uh, we're gonna have access to the new area of it. Uh, it is indeed. Please do your delicate touch here. I'm ignoring all these enemies. For now. I think I can still uh, get that treasure chest down here as soon as I learn the ability to dive. I assume that I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna learn the ability to dive. I don't think these uh, treasure chests are gonna be missable. Oh, look at that hole. Well, we're gonna access uh, to these steps. Uh, reaching uh, mine. Well, this guy is gonna follow us. Might as well kick his ass. Where did he go? Uh, one of these uh, frogs that were uh, trying to follow us. Yeah, we managed to find what? The second monument in this uh, dungeon already? I uh, did. We're uh, working fast. Alrighty, viewers. Go ahead then, continue. Uh huh. Yeah, this looks like a boss arena. Just leave it to me. Just to... Huh. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. We'll see. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with uh, Adol for this one. Just water? Alright. Alright, viewers. For boss fight time against Volnaki. Bitch, bitch, bitch. Really did a grip on him. Down? Uh, was that it? Was that it really? Uh, okay, <laughs> boss is down. <laughs> Only took me what? Uh, less than two minutes. All right, I guess. Yeah, that wasn't hard at all. 
extremely easy boss fight, I gotta be honest. Oh, we have a treasure chest that contains... Water Dragon Scales. Oh, what can we do with this one? Water Dragon Scale. When equipped, the party can swim freely and breathe underwater. Uh, we're still gonna... We're gonna still uh, do... Uh, shitty... Uh, uh, shitty uh, water combat. Ugh. Dive with B and resurface with RT. I guess uh, the circle and R2. Uh, uh, I think this is, some this is something that I actually have to equip. Uh, it is uh, something that I should be equipping here. Can I test it here? So I have to test it in the other uh, screen. Oh yeah, yeah. Dive with the. Uh, uh, circle and surface with R2. Alright, uh, now we can actually go uh, and hunt uh, some of these treasure chests. Yeah, it's. N Underwater combat is. There is a treasure chest over here that contains. Power Ring 1. Uh, I don't know if we're actually gonna need it. Yeah, I don't think uh, we need it. At least not now. There is a one other item that we can get. Red chest will contain. A healing tablet. That's actually a new item over here. What does it do? Temporary HP recovery up. Oh, okay. That's cool. Is that the only uh, item I can get? What the hell? Ah, uh, this is a normal frog? Oh, okay. Okay, uh, it looked a little bit weird. Yeah, these uh, enemies uh, look a little bit weird. I think there is something here that I can reach out. Did I kill any of these uh, fish? I just want to kill them just in, uh, to have them in the BC area. That's, uh, that's it. No, I don't know where I need to go, actually. Maybe I actually have to go uh, here. Whoa, that's a new enemy. Ouch. Alright, we got it. Yeah, that's definitely a new enemy. I haven't seen that before. I haven't seen that enemy before. Ugh, that's another enemy too. It is down there. Yep. Should be a treasure chest over here containing a better potion. Oh, I have to jump down here. Mm. Let's jump! Uh, I can't? Interesting. How can I get there?
Maybe there's an area here that I can actually open. Uh, delicately, of course, with the uh, Ozma. Now I don't see any opening at all. I think I have to go there. Maybe there was an item? There's an opening here. Isn't that it? I don't think I need to dive down here, though. I don't think I can dive... Uh, I need to dive down here. There's probably gonna be an area where there's gonna be a, like an item or no, an opening that is actually submerged. Hydra Flash. Now, Ozma's attacks are a little bit slow uh, for my taste. Uh, I prefer, uh, I prefer uh, Karna, to be honest. Maybe there's an area that, uh, as I said, there's uh, like a uh, there's a body of water that I can actually go under, and pick uh, pick up the uh, in it uh, whatever is important. Definitely not here. Maybe it's here. Oh, yep. I can go through there. Let's go ahead and dive. Uh, there is uh, a cave that leads there. I'm gonna continue exploring this whole area. Yeah, these enemies are idiots. Uh, this uh, will lead uh, somewhere. Uh, yeah, let's go. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, check that cave out. Nothing uh, important, but uh, the path continues uh, to the north. Hey! Left or right? Of course. Pick the right. Oh, and there is a 
That treasure chest, that is locked. Uh... Are you kidding me? I wanted to goddamn... I wanted to goddamn open the goddamn... Treasure! <laughs> An obtained slate fragment. Yay. Leave it to me! Understood. Leave it to me. Yeah, I don't think it's a, it was a good idea having uh, the inter uh, uh, an important interaction button to be mapped to something like uh, like the limit break or whatever the, uh, the game actually called it. We're gonna need Ozma. Ozma Ozma's delicate touch. What the hell? What? No oh, shit, ambush. Ambush. Is there something important in that treasure chest? Well, probably. Yee. All right. Uh. You cheese. You cheese. It's actually this attack is really good. It is a little bit slow. Get you. Yeah. Get you. What? Oh, we killed him. How the hell did they manage to make that trick just disappear though? Which contains. Two sapphires. Oh, okay. I thought it was gonna be something important, something that's actually important to the to the dungeon. Do you uh, what did I find here? Um, only that. Oh, okay. I guess I'll have to backtrack. Uh, wait a minute, what the hell is this? Like, there's bubbles coming out from... from... from these zones. So weird. I can't do anything to it. Let me dive a little bit down. Yeah, I can't... this is, uh, the lowest I can get. Yeah, I cannot interact with it at all. Uh, can break it? Yeah, I don't think that works. New area. All the way up, I oh, should. Alright. Yeah, definitely, uh, Adels is really uh, good against uh, these enemies, since he can't go uh, to the other side. Jupiter. Down. Let me check this area first. Alright, I guess uh, Dorn is good against these guys. <laughs> 